Good morning friends this is Ansi from Lifestyle Today News Delhi today is 27th february 2024 uh the temperature in delhi today is 18 degrees centigrade in the morning it it will reach 21 degrees centigrade uh, during the day time and the sun rose at 6:49 and it will set at 6:20 so it's almost 12 hours of uh day time the time when you can plan your activities plan your diet in that way that you eat and uh, uh, you know eat and follow a diet during the day time and uh, day, the when the daylight is there and it's a cloudy day and it rained in the morning so we can be happy about it that it rained in the morning so the pollution has come down a little bit the air quality index is 209 um Uh, better than yesterday and uh, the particulate matter is unhealthy and the nitrogen dioxide is poor so take care and enjoy the little pure weather that we have got uh, today and so dear friends today i want to talk about the startup uh, the startup ecosystem that had come up uh, in the last 15 years and we all grew so, so the rise of so many companies the startup companies and now we see the fall of the giants the ones that grew so high and they are falling down so what could be the reason see the uh, um the companies uh, that uh, uh you know what you are talking about the rise and fall of uh, uh, byju ravindran and now paytm there are two people Uh, who have so much in common that i feel so that i will talk about later see i have been also involved in this uh, startup uh, ecosystem for the last 10 years i have attended so many of the meetings and these two people i have seen them um, um in in meetings talking in the meetings so uh, and so their growth i uh, have uh, seen and heard them directly speaking uh, also and this startup they have influenced so many people and in la in before 10 years one girl had said in a delhi university student had said that that teachers had asked students that if you want to do startup don't come to the class so it was like every student every youngster had this mind to become a startup entrepreneur even in school they some children had become startup successes in schools also so that was the kind of Uh, success that had come up so now the it's 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 the other trend it's the downward trend that we are seeing so now there is a scare that will this uh, uh, is the startups uh, uh, age has come uh, is over will the other startups be able to survive and all that so many questions have come up so i want to talk one by one first about byju ravindran and then about uh, vijay shekhar sharma of paytm so byju ravindran the first time i saw this man was in 2012 uh, i think when uh, you know uh, and the jawalal nehru when the students and parents were called there uh, for a huge meeting and byju ravindran had come and he had given some max formulas and all and and i was so baffled with those formulas and all that i told my friends after that see if this man had been there 20 years back or something i would have been a <clears throat> engineer in some oracle or uh, oracle or uh, google or microsoft or something now uh, you know that was the uh, kind of way he cleared the fundas the clarity was there so that product that time it was a huge hype and those time they used to give it was not the app it was the uh, they used to uh, give the the mobile phones uh, it's not the mobile phones uh, uh, they used to give tabs they used to give so in the tab children used to learn and connect via internet that was the model and their fundas used to be cleared see my two kids they started learning from the byju's app and most of their uh, doubts were cleared from those apps but later they um, graduated to other apps they never went for tuition it was through the apps they did their uh, studies and so um, uh, the product was good uh, but uh, later i found something like uh, 
when calling there were mentors so it was like it was not one mentor then mentors were changing again and again that was one problem that i had seen and and the thing is um, buying the product we can bargain so uh, we had bargained with them and we could good, get a good deal uh, about the tabs and the um, the purchasing amount other than other people so the way you bargain that that is uh, that is important so those things we have to be updated and learned what is going on in the market that was one thing and later when it came to the meat uh, when we brought their product we were not happy with the product and then after uh, repeated uh, emails after two or three months we could get back the reimbursement for that so i have seen complaints like that that about reimbursement about the product and then if you complain the crying baby only gets the milk so you have if we have been more uh, active and agile and more together if we had a community maybe this product could have a uh, uh, had better days but still it's not gone completely it can survive and i i was very uh, happy about the product i felt that the product was really good and from that idea only many other education apps had uh, come up so nowadays many other different products are there and that was there and then the their people the baiju staff who used to meet us they you know they always had a dream that uh, one day they also will become a success they will have financial success so they were working hard uh, day and night so that after few days maybe like early retirement was some kind of dream they had so that what they were working towards so like uh, you know when i was out of college at that time many of my uh, friends joined in forces and they said that their their owner a founder like narayan murthy he had the dream that uh, um, that he wanted to make all his staff millionaires uh, so millionaires means like 10 lakh or nowadays you see those who joined those time they have at least one or two crores of um, uh, in uh, assets they all have made so his dream to make millionaires had come so that way this uh, uh, byju's uh, company also had a put up a dream in the mind of the of the staff i that's what i understood by interacting with them but somewhere the 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 system went wrong because um the customer care as, as i told you the mentoring was not happening properly that was there and then about the system about the uh, <clears throat> product now complaints are coming so like um, that is uh, because the the product was good but the system uh, went wrong somewhere so uh, that is the uh, uh, problem uh, that has happened but they all come up with a dream and they have worked hard to uh, bring it to this level the uh, next person is uh, vijay shekhar sharma and uh, and um, uh, i have um, said the, the he uh, started paytm in 2010 it was a mobile recharge app and then uh it became a quick uh, payment uh, option a quick success when uber uh, listed it as a quick payment option so that is the uh, time when it it became a big thing so that's the time when it had paytm had become a big success uh, sir, and uh, vijay shekhar sharma had become a hero that's when <coughs> for startup meets i have seen him talk and that time once i remember him telling that he couldn't he didn't have time to spend time with his uh, uh, newly wed wife because full day uh, or night and all he was uh, involved uh, uh, immersed in making his product work so you know that is the kind of uh, dedication uh, every uh, every product every startup product that they come up it's the reason the reason they come up is because they have a passion for Uh, doing something for the country and it is said that uh, when uh, vijay shekhar sharma uh, uh, you know when it was listed paytm was listed in stock exchange uh, he said bhagya uh, bharat bhagya vidhata and uh, you know that uh, the so that kind of you know that's because he was um, like they are all passionate and they have a, a feeling towards in patriotic they want to do something for the country just like the soldiers uh, 
are dedicated to protecting the country uh, such startups they come up they want to do something for the country to uh, to give employment to some people to may bring out a product that is uh, uh, usable by so many people uh, so that kind of thing is there so i don't think it's the money uh, it's uh, the kind of money that made like uh, uh, byju ravindran once upon a time he was a billionaire 1.8 billion and um, Mm. Vijay Shekhar uh, is uh, now 2.4 billion uh, no he is a billionaire by 2.4 do uh, billion dollars so that's the kind of personal money they have made so byju ven ravindran now he is 800 um, like 1 million uh, is uh, yeah 100 million uh, is his uh, uh, present uh, value so that's like 100 million is like 800 crores and 800 crores indian rupees not bad and that kind of money uh, he has made so so that money uh, he has made so it's not like they have uh, gone down and they don't have anything and all that so they have made money and it's uh, the passion that has uh, uh, behind all these products and the products have come it is the system uh, uh, somewhere that has uh, flawed and uh, when it is going in a big level something is uh, going wrong that is what happened with uh, uh, both the uh, companies and uh, so um, now uh, the question comes uh, what is that uh, you know paytm has become uh, part of our life and um, uh, for anything and everything we are using paytm giving uh, money to our own relatives friends to even to the uh, um, maid coming to our house by coming to our house everybody you are giving through paytm and uh, so that is the kind of thing we are using it so what is possible and uh, something that since it is such a uh, popular app even after march 15th it will keep on working but uh, don't think like that it can anything can happen any time so after 15 so we have to uh, stay alert uh, Uh, on that and uh, so what had happened so due to the rbi had taken this action because due to persistent non compliance and continued material supervisors uh, they have uh, uh, rbm asked paytm uh, payment bank to wind down so uh, what are the uh, complaints against them kyc compliance so there's millions of customers there but KYC compliance was not there. IT related issues were there. Lack of requisite balance between the Paytm group and the data access given to China based group because they have shares uh, in it. So uh, these are the um, some of the issues that had uh, uh, come up. So it's and the other thing is uh, the company the paytm is owned by the paytm is owned by 197 communication system that's the company and uh, there are uh, two uh, companies in there that is a pay uh, associations in there that is the paytm payment bank and then paytm the paytm payment bank is the one uh, that uh, we are uh, that the rbi has as to uh has to uh, own, close down wind down and the things that are going to happen is if you have an account then you have you need to migrate from uh, paytm bank that customers and merchant needs to transfer the account to other banks and uh, deposit and credits new deposits won't be allowed salaries and pensions won't no more after march 15th will no more come into those accounts and emi is an ott Uh, take another account and uh, uh, fast tax uh, whatever money is there in the account uh, that will be used after that it will be done then so you have to take fa fast the new fa uh, fast tag you have to take from some other banks then merchant link pay uh, paytm system uh, paytm then uh, those scanning facilities will no more be there so you have to get associated from some other bank so what will remain then the paytm wallet wallets can still be used so the primary function so it had the paytm had started as a mobile recharge company and uh, then 
then it became a quick payment option by uber so it had grown up and up and up so now again back to wallet uh, that is the thing that has come so so uh, you can use wallet so if you are in the banking uh, uh, system anything you are using with the paytm then you uh, better think of going to some other banks so that is the thing and so there are two these two people have so much in common that's what i found so uh, while vijay shekhar sharma is 45 uh, baiju ravindran is around 43 44 so same age and they both are engineers and both their parents are teachers they are their parents are teachers and they both cried once at least thinking about crying cried for their products the products that they made that's their baby and they cried those comes because we indians are emotional and they did this because of emotional reasons and uh, one the reason why why you ravindran cried was he cried because he said sorry to the employees that he had to 2000 employees or something that he had to uh, leave because of the crisis and um, Vijay Shekhar Sharma cried when the company was listed on in the stock exchange so they cried because of the achievements because of the pain and as uh, Nas the famous influencer said uh, recently that uh, the business is a it's kind of a war so there is no place for emotions in uh, that so as the business grows um, there uh, we have to uh, learn to uh, to be make our hearts uh, a little hard and become more uh, practical and as far as the starts up in india goes these two products as far as i know these two products are good especially the the study product the product was good what went wrong with was the system the business system that was made the financial a system that was involved in it the startup ecosystem and all that has to evolve in india and uh, those those issues are there so that uh, so the coming the new companies that are coming the the ones that are there they can learn from their mistakes and uh, they can come up with uh, better uh, results and um, these two uh, people um, uh, it's not like it's the end of uh, uh, the companies or it's the end of these two uh, people. The Baiju company is still there. Its valuation has come down from uh, like uh, to 1 uh, million or something. From, like uh, it's, it's, it's a huge uh, fall it has had but the company is still there and nowhere like we can imagine like we working people and the small business people we can imagine it's still got a huge valuation and um, and uh, uh, this uh, paytm is also uh, still it is there so uh, and their personal worth also by you ravindran in indian rupees i think he still has 800 crores and um, vijay shekhar he is also the main uh, shareholder in paytm bank which will be taken over by other banks so and he's a billionaire uh, with a 2.4 billion dollars so that kind of things are there so it's not like everything is over done and gone so the startup what uh, the good things they have achieved and they have put shown a way and other startups can follow the uh, things if your product is good have a good system to it and they will survive and uh, and give some uh, give some lot of employment for people and a good product for the customers to use so thank you dear friends for listening and put your uh, comments in the comment box and uh, i'll come to my tomorrow again with a new topic thank you